God bless you. I thank global Christian friends, American people, government, pastors, saints, and churches, military, factory workers, field workers, firemen, postal carriers, police officers, carpenters, plumbers, whatever endeavor out there across the world, America. Before the day comes at the Lord, I make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husbandman unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God uh, and they shall be my people. And uh, they shall teach no more, no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother in saying, Know the Lord. Uh, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. Uh, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for light by night, which divideth the sea, which when the waves there are roar, the Lord of hosts is named. Now pay attention here. If those ordinances depart, don't forget, when heaven, earth, stars, those things, when they depart, those ordinances also depart. So, if and when those things depart from before me, said the Lord, then, there's a then on top of that? Yes. How profound and profuse is that then? Well, here it is. The seed of Israel. The what? The seed of Israel. The who? The seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me. How long? Forever. Hope you understand that. Read that. The time for Israel is short. As well as for the church, the world, the universe, the everything. I can feel the unctions coming through the waves of the air at me about this, but I can't change it. God said it, that is sufficient. He is the one that said it and spoke it. He is the one that will bring it to pass. That's what he said. If I spoke it, I'll bring it to pass. Then shall the seed of Israel also cease from being a nation before me. How long do you say, Lord? Forever. Israel is for this life, this world, this earth, period. Beyond this life, this world, this earth, something else totally different, period. Sons and daughters. But to be on the safe side, let's read one more. But thus said the Lord, If heaven above can be measured, it has been, and the foundations of the earth beneath searched out, they have been, I will also cut off how much? All the seed of Israel. Why? For all that they have done, said who? Said the Lord. Hmm. Your existence, Israel, hangs on the balance or the ordinances of the heavens. They go, you go. Guess what? They're gone. Read Matthew 24, 35. We're not trying to lift up or build up anybody, anything that matter. Read what God say. Uh, interpret rightly what he say. 
and believe what he said. The Bible says, believe his prophets, you shall prosper. Believe his prophets, you shall prosper. I'm not a prophet of God, never claimed to be. It don't set well with my spirit to be one when there's something greater and something higher. There's always something greater and something higher. Love Jesus more than yourself. 24, Luke 14, 24. For I say unto you that none of these men that were beaten shall taste of my supper. Think about that. Not even taste of my supper. All of these things you're doing, but you're not going to taste, T-A-S-T, -T, of his supper. Out of all the things that you're doing and claim to, uh, well, you are my husband, my wife, my land, my property, and all that kind of stuff. Verse 25. And there were great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, great multitudes. If any man come to me, remember like that solar system? Come to the solar system. Come be a part of the solar system. If any man come to me and hate not his father, what? And mother, what? And wife, what? And children, what? And brother, what? And sister, yet yeah, what? What? Yea, and his own life also he cannot be my disciple. But wait a minute. You said there are certain specifications for being your disciple. Doing this and doing that be my disciple. Of course, he's another one. All right? He cannot be my disciple. You'll find that Matthew 18, or Matthew 29, or Matthew 19, 29 as well, too. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Another stipulation for the discipleship. Well, which of you in the multitude intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and count it the cost? Count it. C O U N T E T H. Count it the cost of the discipleship or building a house or anything for that matter. Winning a war. Or taking a space uh, travel trip. Well, he has sufficient to finish it. Let's happily in verse 29. After he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. That's not the way God operates. God do not look. God, sure you how God operates. He made man, he made the creation, and he made man, man sin. This time God said, what I'll do first, I'll lay the foundation first. I see he must be born again, then I'll give you creation. <laughs> God bless you there after new, newly created creatures of God. Uh, bless your pastors, American government, and friends. Thank you.